It goes without saying that Rick Hendrick is one of the richest, if not the richest, owners in NASCAR. His net worth is estimated at $1 billion, which is by far more than all the other owners, with the exception of Michael Jordan, who joined the sport in 2020. One doesn't make $1 billion just like that, and that's why we are going to take a trip through memory and history to show you how Rick Hendrick made all of his money, becoming one of the biggest magnates in the NASCAR industry. However, not all of his actions were legal and by the law, making him one of the most controversial figures in the USA. Rick Hendrick was born on July 12, 1949, and apart from owning Hendrick Motorsports, the most successful team in NASCAR, he is also a co-owner of JR Motorsports and the founder of the Hendrick Automotive Group, a network of over 100 car dealerships. As we mentioned earlier, his team has won 280 NASCAR Cup Series races as of 2021, making him the winningest team owner in NASCAR. Also, his team has a combined total of 18 NASCAR championships, 14 in the Cup Series, 3 in the NASCAR Truck Series, and 1 in the Xfinity Series. Quite a resume, huh? So, what does Rick Hendrick do, exactly, apart from managing some successful teams in NASCAR? Rick Hendrick was, and probably is, a huge fan of drag racing, something that he started at the age of 14 in a self-built 1931 Chevrolet. At the age of 16, Hendrick won the Virginia Division of the Chrysler Plymouth Troubleshooting Contest, a two-part test consisting of a written exam and a timed hands-on diagnosis and repair of defects planted on a car. This is where his love for cars has started to grow more and more, which is why Hendrick opened a small used car lot with Mike Leith, who was an established new car dealer. He was convinced to name Hendrick the general sales manager of the company, with Rick being just 23 years old. In 1976, Hendrick sold all of his assets to purchase a franchise in Bennettsville, South Carolina. With this move, Hendrick became the country's youngest Chevrolet dealer. His influence increased sales enough to make the once troubled location one of the region's most profitable ones. And the success of this particular branch was a precursor to the Hendrick Automotive Group. Now, this company has over 100 franchises and 11,000 employees across 13 states. Hendrick Automotive Group is headquartered in Charlotte, North Carolina, and the company generated more than $3.5 billion in revenue in 2009 after selling 100,000 vehicles and serving over 1.5 million. As of now, the company is the sixth largest dealership in the U.S., with Hendrick being the chairman of the company as well as the owner. Even with this company making huge revenue and Hendrick being able to retire comfortably, his wish for more adrenaline never settled down, as Hendrick drove in two races during the 1987 and 1988 Winston Cup Series, with finishes of 33rd and 15th respectively. Also, Hendrick had a single start in both the Bush Series and the Craftsman Truck Series. Hendrick's roles in the automotive world have been extremely varied, beginning as a pit crew member for Ray Hendrick's Flying 11 in the 1960s. However, Hendrick Automotive Group was founded in 1976, and Hendrick decided that this was not going to be enough for his personal and financial satisfaction. Rick Hendrick founded a drag boat racing team in the late 1970s, just when he founded the company. His team won three consecutive championships as well as setting a world record of 222.2 miles per hour with Nitro Fever. Rick then decided to join NASCAR, specifically the Model Sportsman Series, which is now known as the Xfinity Series. Hendrick earned one victory with Dale Earnhardt at Charlotte Motor Speedway, and in 1984 he founded All-Star Racing, which is now known as Hendrick Motorsports. At this time, the team had only five full-time employees and 5,000 square feet of workspace, and with this in his hands, Rick fielded one NASCAR Winston Cup team. Jeff Bodini was the driver, and the team managed to race in all 30 races to finish ninth in the final standings with three wins and three pole positions. The money is coming mostly from Hendrick's automotive group, however Rick's success in NASCAR doesn't come cheap. His team has won 18 drivers' championships, 347 races, and 291 pole positions. During the late 1980s, Hendrick also owned the Goodwrench IMSA GTP Corvette, driven by Sarl Vandermeer and Doc Mundy. Obviously, with the entrance of Michael Jordan, Hendrick has been relegated from the position of richest NASCAR owner, and a huge part of that goes to Jordan's net worth of $2.2 billion. True, Jordan isn't a full-time owner of 2311 Racing, with Denny Hamlin co-owning it with the six-time NBA champion, but he is directly involved in the team's operations and ownership, making him the richest NASCAR owner right now. Still, Hendrick wasn't really clean when it came to dealing with business throughout his career, and in 1997, he pleaded guilty to mail fraud. This is just the tip of the iceberg with him being involved in shady business with Honda. In the 1980s, Honda automobiles were in high demand, and Honda executives allegedly solicited bribes from dealers or larger product disbursements. Hendrick admitted to giving hundreds of thousands of dollars, BMW automobiles, and houses to American Honda Motor Company executives. 
For this, Hendrick was sentenced in December of 1997 to a $250,000 fine, 12 months home confinement instead of prison, given the fact that he had leukemia at this time, three years probation, and to have no involvement with Hendrick Automotive Group, run by Jim Perkins, or Hendrick Motorsports, run by his brother John. But in December 2000, Rick revealed a full pardon from President Bill Clinton which saw him take the reins of his own business yet again. Over the past decade, Hendrick has pleaded guilty to felony fraud and endured a life-threatening bout with leukemia and the aftermath of a plane crash that killed several members of his family, including his only son and heir apparent. Still, the mega dealer is happy with his life and has learned to be thankful for everything God has given him throughout his life. Life is good. I am so blessed. I am one of the luckiest guys alive. Obviously, Hendrick is a very enthusiastic individual, and that is a mindset that every businessman needs to possess in order to be successful in the branch he is progressing in. In 2007, his company posted an estimated $4.3 billion in revenue, which isn't a number to be messed with. The enthusiasm has been shared through Jim Perkins, the president of the Hendrix Companies, which is an umbrella entity that oversees Hendrix Racing and Auto Enterprises. I watched him go through adversity. He never asked why me, Perkins said. Hendrick received his love for cars from his father, whom he calls Papa Joe, as he was taught to work on cars on his family's North Carolina farm. Racing was in his blood, as we were able to witness from everything we said so far in the video. And one of the biggest issues for Hendrick was to fix his own ride, whether he was on the farm or on the track. You had to fix what you got yourself, and you had to make stuff. Hendrick also spoke about his early 20s, when he opened the used car lot and became the general sales manager of a nearby new vehicle dealership after buying a failing Chevrolet dealership in Bennettsville, South Carolina. Chevrolet told me if I could turn this deal around, we would give you an opportunity to buy a bigger store. This is when his empire started to grow, and this is when he knew that the world had something special for him. Although he faced frauds and difficulties in his life, he never gave up or said that enough was enough, pushing for greatness with every passing day. Obviously, Hendrick Motorsports is a very stable brand as of now, and their future is a very certain one. With all four drivers seeing success and willing to continue this success in the future, Hendrick Motorsports is here to stay for a long time. After all, the team is funded by one of the richest owners in the league, which is by far one of the most important things when it comes to remaining in NASCAR apart from success. The Xfinity series is something that is going to be trouble for Hendrick Motorsports, as his team is seeing some difficulties and uncertainty. Due to JR Motorsports' ability to field a fifth car for the Cup Series drivers, there weren't any original plans for Hendrick Motorsports to continue in this field. However, the organization is currently struggling when it comes to making the decision whether it's worth it or not to stay in the Xfinity series, entering it for the first time in 2022 since the 2009 season, when Stewart won at Daytona International Speedway. What do you think about the second richest owner in NASCAR? Let us know in the comments below.